Welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Okay, today we're doing a tune from the 19, I think it was written in 1913, something like that. It's called Ball and the Jack. All right, it it's, was a dance, all right, that they did, you know, I guess like the, what you call like in moving to the roaring 1920s, you know, that the flappers or whatever they called them back then. Uh, straight ahead. All right, it starts on A7. You see the D7, G7. And there's a few chords that you see up there that I'll show you if you want to play them, you could play them. If you want to leave some of them out, I'll show you which ones you could leave out. Okay? To start the tune off, what you might want to do is start with the C note up here, the C bass. All right, that's fifth string, third fret. And just go B. C, B, B flat, E, and you hit the chord. You put your two feet close up tight, and then you wiggle to the left, and you move to the right. Naturally, I don't know the words to this song. D, C, E7. F, E7, then you put your arms way out in space, then you do the eagle rock with style and grace, you put your ba 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 da 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 that's what I call ball and the jack. All right, so, uh, I don't know too much about the Eagle Rock. Um, you might want to look that up because it um, it's it has a, a couple of meanings. One of them is a bit racy. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving along, what we're doing here uh, when you get to the last line, you see we have the F minor. The F do do. Now I have four chords in there, one on each beat. C, E7, A minor, A7. Then it's D minor, two beats, F minor, two beats, G7, two beats. If you want where the four chords are in the one measure, all right, you can do uh, from the, let's go from the F, F minor. C twice, A7 twice. If you find that easier to do, you can do that. So in other words, after the FF minor on the last line, you could hit C for two beats, A7 for two beats, D minor two beats, F minor two beats, G7 two beats, and C. Okay? Those, if you want to be a bit adventurous, again. All right, and my fingering that I'm using, as you could see, now from the A minor, I leave the second finger. It's a simple tune. It's cute. It, it, it's just cute. You know, I remember years ago, I used to do this sometimes at weddings, you know, and the MC would be, you know, they'd be talking and, you know, doing that. First, you put your two feet close up. This, again, different tempos with this. Some tempos are off. But you put your two feet close up. Stops it. Da 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 So it's, you know, but you can do it slow. You can do whatever. I hope you enjoy this tune. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. If you like what you hear, please give me that thumbs up. 
any questions as always or comments you know below I have an email below uh, please subscribe all right and take care have a nice day